Hello, Osaka Fed. Hi, I'm Roma, and welcome to my kitchen. So today we are having a real Caribbean breakfast. I'm going to be making a few dishes, but we're going to focus on our festival. I'm going to show you how I do it. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. So let's get mixing. So these are all the ingredients that I will be using to make the festival. The exact amount will be listed in the description bar below. So I have some flour and it's all purpose flour, some really fine cornmeal, water, baking powder, salt, butter, sugar, and egg. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is get all these things in a big bowl. And that's my flour. Then I'm going to put the baking powder. I'm going to mix it. You're going to add salt, sugar, cornmeal, yeah. and you just want to mix that up so you get that baking powder evenly distributed. Step, we're gonna add our butter. And before I mix the butter, I'm gonna crack that egg because I'll add it into that after. And I'm gonna wash my hands. Take some gloves on. And what we're gonna do is get the butter in there. So I just wanna, and you wanna make sure your butter is nice and soft. So we just kind of mix it in. That's gonna help it to be nice and moist and really crispy on the outside. So that's it, then we add the egg. And I have one cup of water. So I'm gonna put that in. And you just knead it. You can also do it with your stand mixer. But this is not a lot of kneading, so for me it's okay. If it's too soft, you find any at any time you it's a little too soft, just sprinkle a little flour onto it and knead it. You don't want to get it too hard, you want it soft but not too soft. So make sure it's really nice consistency. So I'm just gonna sprinkle about a teaspoon of flour, just so it doesn't stick. Okay, that's it. See, so that's better. That's it, and look at that. So it's not too, you see it's nice and soft. So you, that's how you want it, like that. So what I'm just going to do is just roll it into a ball like that and I'm going to cover it with a paper towel and leave it for about 30 minutes. Okay, so while my festival is resting, my dough, I'm gonna make some salt fish. And you can see I have my codfish. I soaked it overnight. I boiled it out already and chip it up in a little bit. And then I have my onions, scallions, parsley, garlic, tomatoes, and some fresh thyme. And this one, I've done it before, like with the um, ackee, ackee and saltfish. This is just a typical cutfish fry, cutfish uh, breakfast. So if you want to see the saltfish and ackee recipe, just click the link above. So while it's heating up, I'll just wait. Maybe I can sing a song for you guys. <laughs> you don't want to hear that. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay. So 
the onion is cooking, I'm going to add some thyme. And I want the thyme to cook because, you know, you want to get all that flavor out and release that flavor. I'm going to get all the flavor from my scallion and the um, thyme, garlic, onion. My festival should be ready. So I'm going to now roll them into balls and then I have to let it sit again for at least 10 minutes. Okay, so now it's been sitting for half an hour and you see it's really nice now, nice and smooth. I'm going to take them and Roll them into balls, so just like that. I'm gonna make balls like that, or so. balls. I'm not making them too big, because you want them to cook really well, so don't make them too big. This we're going to have it with some cucumber salad, some fresh avocados. So it's a typical Caribbean breakfast. And that's it. So I'm going to cover this up again for 10 minutes before and I'll get my pan ready and then I'll start frying. That's it guys. Okay, so now time to fry. I'm going to turn on the stove. Now I'm going to let, I'm using my cast iron pan and I'm gonna let it heat up before I put the oil. See how they look now? They even puff up a little bit more. So I'm just gonna put some oil in now and I'm gonna put in enough because I want them to fry really quickly. I'm gonna turn it down a bit. I think it's really hot now and you don't wanna get it too, too hot because you don't want it to um, start burning get your stuff cooked on the outside and the inside gonna be raw. So what I'm gonna do is just roll them like this. If I was making bakes, I would do them flat, but this we usually just roll it like that. Okay, so guys, you can see they just cooking now. You keep it nice, like a medium heat, not too, too hot, especially because of the kind of pan I'm using. It tends to retain a lot of heat. You can see this one, now I can turn it. Yeah, see like that. This one too. So let's just see how many of them I can turn, and they're already fluffy, yeah. So these should take at least three to five minutes on each side. And you see they're nice and brown. And that's the kind of color you want. Uh, this one could wait about way back. Yeah. So you can turn them to the side if you see the sides need a little more cooking. Like this one, I'm putting it on side. Okay, so these are done. I'm gonna take them out, put them on paper towel. And you know mine, I made them a little big, but usually they make them a little smaller. But I wanted mine to have with my cut fish, so that's okay. I'm making it instead of my um, fried dumpling. <laughs> There it is, they look almost like fried dumpling, but that's okay, one of them bigger guys, so don't come at me. <laughs> and here you have it guys, our Caribbean breakfast. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, you have a great day, and God bless.